I'll speak to the issue of what brought you here today. The more than 10 month Title IX investigation. As you know, I was cleared of three of the four allegations filed against me, sexual exploitation, sex gender based discrimination, and retaliation <clears throat> by the initial investigation on July the 9th, I was found responsible for non-consensual sexual contact. I appealed that determination of responsibility, detailing <clears throat> in my contesting statement posted on my website, Wild Divisions, the reasons for doing so. A few of the reasons I'll state here today. One, the complainant testified that I wrote and gave her a note apologizing, telling her not to share the note and not to tell anyone about the note. She was never able ever to produce the note, could not explain to anyone what happened to the note. Nor did the investigator find it necessary to clarify the inconsistencies and discrepancies relative to the note. In fact, work records established that the complainant did not even work on the day that she claimed to have received the note from me. Two, the complainant stated that I harassed her by phone every single day. However, she did not produce her phone records to produce such allegations. I provided my unredacted phone records from February to June that clearly showed no harassment. Three, there was not one single corroborating witness sustaining anything that the complainant had to say. Although the complainant testified that her cousin was a witness that cousin refused to be interviewed by the investigator. Number four, it was alleged that the complainant lost her job because I told her there was no funding for her position during an employee luncheon, luncheon that she and I, we, attended. I was never involved in any way with complainant's job. She did not work with me, nor did I ever, uh, did she report to me. Further, I emphatically denied ever telling complainant that there was no funding for such job. The investigator interviewed many witnesses relative to the luncheon. One in particular who attended the luncheon on the day the complainant testified that we, meaning she and I, were sitting off to the side when the group arrived, said, no, I, I didn't see them. However, that witness and every other witness that attended the luncheon said they didn't see me or the complainant. <clears throat> the investigator then asked the witness, and this question was something we spoke to, could it have been possible that the complainant and I could have been at the restaurant before the witness got there. <laughs> That's the same thing as saying, John Dillinger robbed a bank and you weren't there when he robbed it. Is it possible that he could have been there before you saw it or before you became? And so now think about that, robbing a bank analogy. Additionally, it was established by work records that the complainant did not work on that day that she testified that I told her there was no funding for her position 
at the luncheon. You can read my 15-page contesting statement for more information. My appeal was heard by a review panel last week. The hearing lasted six hours. The hearing panel rejected the findings of the investigator and determined I was not responsible for non-consensual sexual contact. I am pleased that the panel members confirmed what I have stated from the very beginning of this investigation. My life as a son of Virginia has been one of adversity, triumph, and success. And I've been fortunate enough in my life to know what can be done, what can be accomplished, what can be improved upon when we, the people, work together to make it better for all of the people. Thank you. I'll take your question. Yes, ma'am. Governor, um, as you know, you, you say that the panel has essentially cleared you. As you know, when these allegations are made, some people, even though you've been cleared by an appeals panel, may think, well, I think we did it, even though the appeals panel said you did not. Are you concerned about this possibly tarnishing your legacy in any way? The whole attempt tarnishes my legacy. But the people never believed that. I couldn't tell you the kinds of responses I've had from day one from people who've known me. And I said to the panel, I've lived on this earth for 88 years. Point to a single thing during that entity that blemishes my record, and it's not there. And so the people are there. They're already there. And you're right, you're absolutely right. There might be someone who might have that in their mind, but that does not concern me at all. The attempt, the tarnishment, sure it's there, but it's like uh, a coat of paint. It goes away. All right. Well, then, thank you.